Songul Altintash has heard from her son only once in the past four years. He was a soldier who Altuntash says was abducted by the PKK terror group in 2015 while on duty in Turkey's eastern city of Tunceli. The only communication they've had since is a letter posted to her in 2016, in which he told her mother that he was in the Kandil Mountains, fighting alongside members of the terror group. My son was a soldier. He was being deployed to a new location, and they intercepted his bus and kidnapped him, along with another soldier. Since then, we've been trying to get information about him, but we have had enough. If the PKK doesn't give my child back, they can take my life right now. Altuntash is one of several mothers who have now decided to come out and protest for their missing children. And they've gathered outside the office of the HDP, a political party long accused by the Turkish government of having close links to the PKK. The party, which has representation in the Turkish parliament, denies these accusations. Kurdish families protesting outside the HDP's office in Diyarbakir are demanding the return of their children. In the past, families refrained from challenging the PKK because of threats posed by the terror group and its affiliates. Saliha Idizar has traveled from Istanbul to join the protest. She says her son was a high school student when he went missing back in 2015. I don't fear the PKK terror group anymore. This is the first time I'm protesting against them. I want my son back. My son Yakub was kidnapped by the HDP in 2015 and sent to the mountains to fight for the PKK. He was 14 years old when he was kidnapped. He was volunteering with the HDP and disappeared one day when he was out on an excursion with HDP members. The PKK is listed as a terrorist organization by Turkey, the United States and the European Union. An estimated 40,000 people have lost their lives since the terror group began fighting the Turkish state in 1984. Independent rights groups have accused the PKK and its allies of recruiting child soldiers and other war crimes. Why are people protesting in front of the HDP and not another political party? This shows you an organic connection between the party and the PKK. And when you look at the statement from the families, most of them say that the last place their children were seen was either at the HDP office or were with HDP members. The protest in Diyarbakir was triggered last month when Hajira Akar staged a sit-in outside the HDP's office to demand the release of her son, who had gone missing a few days before. And surveillance footage showed that he was last seen at the party's office. Her son was recovered a few days later, and that encouraged more and more families to raise their voice in the hope that they too will be united with their children soon. Omar Kablan, Straight Talk, Diyarbakir.